What's up, everybody? I found two super secret tricks that you can do to uh, not miss any of your announcements or your quiz deadlines or emails from iCollege. Okay, number one, if you go to announcements in any class, just the regular little announcements widget, okay, you click the little drop down arrow and boom, there's a setting called notifications. You hit that, you scroll down, and you got two options. You can put in your email address right up here and that will uh, allow you to be notified there. Or you can even put in a mobile number if you want to get text alerts for it. All right, what do you get down here? You can decide, I want announcements. Anytime an announcement has been sent, I want one of those through email. Or if you put in a phone number, I want it through phone number. You can say anytime an assignment due date is like two days away. Or down here, like quizzes. I want to know if a quiz is coming up, if it's due in the next two days. And then you want to click that allow future courses to send me notifications. That's step number one, and you click save, and boom, all those notifications are now gonna go to your email or to your phone, all right? Item number two, you go into your email tool. That's this guy right up here, right? You go into settings, and you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and there you go. You can forward any emails you get from your professors down here to a regular email address. If it's not your default GSU email address, you have to get it verified, uh, and sometimes even if it is, I like to click this option where I say forward and mark unread in the inbox folder because here's the secret. Any of these messages you get about your email inside your inbox, they're going to show up from a place called georgiastateview.gsusg.edu, whatever. Anytime you see that georgiastate.view, that means it's a trap, okay? You can't reply to this email. It's just letting you know you've got an email and what the text of the email was. And then you got to actually go back into iCollege to reply to the email. So be aware, if you turn this setting on, there's a little trap waiting here for you. And if you reply to it, your professor's going to be like, I didn't get no email from you. Okay, that's it. Bye.